This is a Chinese dating show. See this guy, Liu Hao? He was one of the single men on the show, but he was also a murderer who had been on the run for 13 years. During the show, he and another single man, Wang, both liked this woman. To impress her, Liu Hao tried his best to showcase his talents on the show. However, while he was showing himself on stage, he neglected that his competitor was a police officer. As a result, this woman chose to go on a date with Liu Hao. No one would have imagined that Liu Hao, who stole the spotlight on the show, would soon appear in a breaking news. In May 2011, six months after the show aired, a person called the police to report that a man on a TV dating show was the murderer of a case 13 years ago. The reporter clearly described the information of the suspect and victim and the details of the case. Upon hearing this, the police immediately retrieved the case files and found that a murder case did occur in Jilin City 13 years ago. It showed that the murderer Wu Gang had been on the run. The police immediately went online to check this dating show. Is the person who sang and danced on TV the murderer of the 13-year-old case? The police found that the man on the show was named Liu Hao, who looked very calm, without any nervousness or fear. Even more incredible, he competed with a policeman for the same woman and eventually won her heart. Being on stage with a police officer, Liu Hao was without any scruples. Then the police quickly found out the photos of suspect Wu Gang and compared them with the single man Liu Hao. Except for some differences in age and weight, their facial features were very similar, especially the mouths. Moreover, Liu Hao also said on the show that he used to perform in a bar in Jilin City in his early years. Wu Gang was a singer in a bar in Jilin City 13 years ago which was similar to the experience of Liu Hao. Then the police searched for information about the men named Liu Hao in their system, but none of them matched the age, physical characteristics, and work experience of Liu Hao on the show. It seemed that Liu Hao's identity information was fake. In order to find out Liu Hao's true identity, the police contacted the television station and got Liu Hao's contact information and home address, as well as his social media. Then the police checked his social media. Liu Hao had posted many photos over the years, most of which were taken during his performances and hosting events. This was exactly the same business as the fugitive Wu Gang did back then. He also shared some Buddhist articles about the atonement, which seemed to be in line with the mindset of a murderer on the run. After seeing these, the police believed that Liu Hao was the fugitive Wu Gang who had been on the run for 13 years, and it was time to hunt him down. Then, the police of Jilin City came to Shenyang, the city where Liu Hao lived at that time, and asked for assistance from the local police to reach Liu Hao. In order to not alert Liu Hao, the police didn't call him, but waited in his neighborhood. However, they didn't see him after two days. Could the address he provided to the television station be false? Then a police officer called him under a false identity, pretending that he would hold a big party to celebrate his father's birthday and wanted him to perform at the party. Liu Hao didn't suspect anything and had a pleasant chat with the police. After negotiating the pay, Liu Hao agreed to meet at noon to discuss the details of his performance at the party. Next, the police waited for Liu Hao at the appointed place. Just after noon, a slightly overweight, medium-sized man caught the police's sight. This man was Liu Hao. After greeting each other, the police suggested talking about the party in a restaurant while having lunch together. That's how Liu Hao got in the car with the police, but he was still unaware of what was going to happen to him. 
In the car, Liu Hao talked freely about his performance style and his career. At this time, the police called his original name Wu Gang, and Liu Hao responded subconsciously. No matter how long a person hid their identities, when they heard their names, they would instinctively react. Liu Hao, who had always thought he had a business deal, was taken to the police station and quickly admitted that he was Wu Gang, the murderer of a case 13 years ago. This is also the first time that the police encountered such a high-profile fugitive who not only didn't live cautiously, but also went on TV to show himself. What crime did he commit 13 years ago? At that time, Wu Gang was a singer in a bar in Jilin City, and the victim, Sun Jun, was also a singer. There was also a performer named Ah Yong in the bar who suffered from dwarfism. The three of them often performed together. On the evening of February 6, 1998, Ah Yong, who had always had a crush on the hostess of the bar, wanted to invite her to dinner after the show. After being rejected, he insisted on sitting in the taxi that the hostess had called and tried to keep her. Seeing this situation, the victim Sun Jun pulled Ah Yong off the taxi. Then the two argued and later fought. Wu Gang, who was originally trying to stop the fight, also fought with Sun Jun. That night, Wu Gang had a few drinks and was depressed because of just getting divorced. In an impulse, he took out a paring knife from his bag and stabbed Sun Jun. Sun Jun's chest immediately bled. Seeing this, Wu Gang dropped the knife and ran away. Sun Jun, who was stabbed in the heart, died shortly after being taken to the hospital. <laughs> From then on, Wu Gang began his life on the run. He left his elderly mother and three-year-old son at home and came to Hangzhou City alone. He was afraid to call his family, afraid to turn to relatives or friends, and also afraid to use his real identity. He could only rely on the few hundred cash he had on him. During that time, Wu Gang locked himself in the rented apartment and didn't go anywhere. With money running out, Wu Gang had to go out to work to make money. He made himself a fake name, Liu Hao, and started a new life as a waiter in a restaurant. After spending a few months in Hangzhou, he moved to Shenyang, a city closer to his hometown. After coming to Shenyang, he began to perform for events. Over time, he gradually let his guard down and even wanted to expand his business and increase his popularity. Then he got on a TV dating show. He thought that this was just a local show and wouldn't be broadcast in his hometown Jilin City, but unexpectedly the victim's family saw the show online, recognized him and reported to the police. In the end, Wu Gang was sentenced to life imprisonment for intentional homicide. 